Hello there, dear travelers. Welcome to the picturesque town of Encamp, nestled amidst the stunning Pyrenees Mountains in beautiful Andorra. Today, I'm thrilled to be your trusty guide as we embark on an unforgettable journey through this charming area. Our adventure begins at the heart of Encamp, where you'll find the historic Church of Santa Eulalia. This Romanesque gem dates back to the 12th century, boasting intricate carvings and a fascinating history. Legend has it that a mischievous dragon once roamed these lands, but fear not. The brave locals scared it away with their loud Catalan laughter, an ancient Andorran defense mechanism. From there, we'll wander through the charming streets of Encamp, soaking in the unique blend of French and Spanish influences. Keep an eye out for quirky little shops and cozy cafes that offer a delightful taste of Andorra's culinary wonders. Oh, speaking of which, do you know why Andorans are such great chefs? Because they can turn anything into a pyromani chef. Dish, a hot one indeed. Next on our list is the iconic Maritzel Sanctuary. This modernist masterpiece pays homage to Andorra's patron saint, Our Lady of Maritzel. The original sanctuary was tragically destroyed by fire in 1972, but like a phoenix, it rose from the ashes even more splendid than before, a true testament to Andorra's resilience. Now brace yourselves for a breathtaking cable car ride to the Grand Valera Ski Resort. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe, and the views are worth every moment of awe-induced silence. As we glide up the slopes, you'll see why Andorra is a winter wonderland beloved by skiers and snowboarders worldwide. The locals like to say that Andorra is a country where the winter sports are cool, but the people are even cooler. After a fun-filled day on the slopes, we'll venture to the charming Lake Angolasters, cradled in the embrace of the mountains. This pristine body of water has its own legends, including the tale of a magical mermaid that grants wishes to those who dare to swim in its chilly waters. Be warned, though, the Andorran version of the mermaid prefers snow flurries to sea waves. Now, let's venture back in time at the Casa Cristo Ethnographic Museum. This rustic abode provides a glimpse into the traditional Andorran way of life, complete with vintage tools, rustic furnishings, and quirky artifacts. If you're lucky, you might even spot an old Andorran abominable snowman costume, an ancient relic from local festivals. To wrap up our unforgettable day, we'll feast like true Andorans at a delightful mountain restaurant. The aroma of Escudella, a hearty stew, will make your taste buds dance with joy. Oh, and don't forget to try the traditional Andorran dessert, Cremadillo. It's so creamy and delicious, you'll be asking for more Cremadillo in no time. Alas, our journey comes to an end, but the memories we've made will last a lifetime. I hope you had a fantastic time exploring in camp with me. As you bid adieu to this little slice of Andorran paradise, remember the locals' favorite saying. In Andorra, every day is a mountain of opportunities. You just have to climb them. Safe travels, and until we meet again, my friends.